guys, it's Sarah, and today I'm talking about why I do certain things. So one of the things that I've really been moving more toward is becoming a vegetarian. Now, I'm not being a vegetarian because I think killing animals is murder, or because I don't like the taste of meat. The reason why I've become a vegetarian is economical, ecological, physiological, uh, and psychological. Those are the four reasons why I have decided to cut meat out of my diet. So, for why I actually have decided to give up meat. The first reason is because I don't have a lot of money. I live in Korea and meat is really expensive. And I don't want to spend all of my money on meat when I can find protein in other sources that are a lot less expensive. When Zach and I got married, we would only spend $15 a week on groceries, $15 to $20 a week on groceries. And so, uh, meat is expensive and you can't spend your whole budget on meat when you only have $15 to spend. So we'd have to find other ways to eat. And so we would eat a, like a lot of eggs and oatmeal and like dried, uh, like dried beans and rice and a lot of inexpensive things that weren't meat. So the first reason that I don't eat a lot of meat is simply because it costs a lot of money. The second reason is is that uh, raising meat takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of energy from the earth, it takes a lot of energy from humans, and it doesn't really give back as much as it's worth. Like, these animals are raised and they have to eat a lot of vegetables or whatever they're eating in order to be raised and so they are like the primary consumers and so they get all of the nutrients and then we become the secondary consumers and so we get our energy from them but they get their energy from the plants it just it's taking an extra step to get the energy that you need so for me like ecologically it just makes more sense to eat the plants because you get all the nutrients from that you are the primary consumer instead of a secondary or a tertiary consumer. Okay, so economically, ecologically, it just it takes up way too much energy. It's not an efficient way to get your energy. Uh, the third reason, what was the third reason? Physiologically. Okay, for me, like, I can eat meat. I think that it tastes wonderful. It's one of my favorite flavors in the entire world. But it just isn't really doing anything for my body. It tastes great, but I don't ever really, can't really say that I feel good after I eat it. So why would I eat something if it doesn't make me feel better? I can eat other things and feel way better and be able to go for runs and not have to worry about feeling sick. So yeah, why eat it? So physiologically, it's not doing much for me. I mean, I don't need it, so whatever. And then the fourth reason and like the major reason is uh, psychologically. I just feel bad for the animals. Uh, I grew up on a farm and we would butcher our own animals. Like we had cows and pigs and chickens and I never really felt that bad when we would butcher chickens because chickens are evil, evil creatures. I just don't like them. They're mean to me. Yeah, so chickens in general don't care about them so much. Uh, but I have started to feel a little bit worse for them because of the conditions that they're raised in. I don't know, I would say that a lot of people like who just eat meat blindly and waste it and stuff like that, I would challenge you to go and like butcher your own meat or hunt for your own meat sometime and see how you feel after you butcher it. Because I know that I don't feel all that great after I've butchered something. Like even fishing, like I feel bad when I like go to to like, like scale them and skin them and stuff like that. Like I don't feel very good about it. And it's not like it scarred me, it's just, I don't know, they were living and now they're, now they're, I'm taking their life away from them, like their life wasn't over. And then some people are like, well then what's the purpose of having animals? Like what's the purpose of raising them if you aren't going to eat them? Well, I don't know, they have some, they have some purpose other than that because I'm pretty sure that the first humans didn't just eat meat. I'm sure that there were animals probably before that. There were animals before there were humans, and so they had a purpose before we did. Now, like I said, I still do eat meat sometimes, uh, and that's because I don't want to waste it. Like, if you're gonna, if animals are going to die, 
then I don't want them to go to waste. If like someone serves me meat, I'm not going to be like, uh, no. Because I don't want that meat to go to waste. That animal died for a reason, and now its reason is for me to eat it. So, of course I'm going to eat it. But I'm not going to go out and just choose on my own to like go order a hamburger or go and order like a oh, pork tenderloin. Just delicious. Just because like, it, there's no reason to be other than that it's delicious. And I'm not saying that like everyone needs to become a vegetarian, but I would challenge you to think about how much meat you do eat. Just think about why you eat meat. Think about other than it's delicious. Is there other reasons that you eat meat? If you like this video, please let me know in the comments below. Give it a big ol' thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel where I talk about why I do things. Show you some of the adventures that I have here in Korea. Talk about teaching a little bit and other random things. And until next time, I will see you when I see you.